Hi, I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings, and today I am going to be doing a plant sample unboxing at the house. They were delivered to my front door, and when I got home from work today, these boxes were sitting on the porch, and I don't want to leave the plants in the boxes any longer than I need to. Um, otherwise, I'd totally be doing this video at the greenhouses. So let's go ahead and take a look at these sample plants that were sent to me. So this is from Darwin Perennials, and this is part of their 2025 New Varieties Sample Program. So some of the varieties that they um, potentially have sent me, I've got two giant boxes, so I'll show you those in a minute. Um, but let's go ahead and just take a quick look at some of the varieties, and then I'll talk more about them as I'm unpackaging them. So there could be some Agastache in there. It's called the Summer Long Series. Echinacea Sombrero series. I love the Sombrero Echinaceas. They're just so faithful and so reliable here. Um, it's in our zone six garden that I really never have to worry about planting a Sombrero and worrying about it coming back the next season. Uh, also, it looks like there's a new sedum that might be in these boxes. Coreopsis, Armeria, Budlia, Digitalis, Achillea, Veronica, and there might even be a Dallasperma. So let's dig into these boxes and take a closer look at what we might be receiving from our friends at Darwin Perennials. So this is the box I received. It is huge. Um, it looks like they use gully greenhouses to do the growing of these plugs for them. So let's go ahead and break into these boxes and see what these plants look like. So these plants are sample plants. They are plug form, which is uh, how we receive all of the plants that we grow here at Garden Crossings. Uh, there's several different sizes of plugs that we can receive. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what is in this collection. All right, so sometimes plugs don't ship super great, but usually that isn't too concerning because the plants are so well rooted. So as you can see, this arrived a little bit of a jumble mess, but I'm not at all concerned. We'll just put them back into the little trays and get them planted up. And these are gonna be beautiful plants. Probably I'm guessing within six to eight weeks is what it's gonna take for these to fill out um, a container. So there looks to be about 25 or so plugs. And this one here, let me turn the tray is the sedum shamrock. So I'm gonna to try to put it up close to the screen so you can maybe sort of see it a little bit. What we're gonna do with these trials is we're gonna plant these in a gallon size container and also in a quart size container. Um, with the trials that we do, we like to first trial them growing them in the greenhouse to see how they perform being grown under the greenhouse. And then once they're big enough, we're gonna put them out into our trial gardens where then we can watch these plants just explode in the gardens and show you the plants as they mature over the summer. So all of these varieties are things that we'll be doing a video on later on this summer when we get them out into one of our gardens. So let me just tell you a little bit more about the shamrock sedum. So the information that it says, it says this cute little ground cover is a delight in containers and in the landscape. Provides a dense mat of petite foliage that carpets the landscape with green to chocolate brown tones. Little to no flowering. So it looks like it's more grown for its foliage interest, which so often the foliage interest I think is just as important as flower interest. Um, only two to four inches tall and about 12 to 14 inches wide is what this plant will get at its mature size. And it's hardy in zones three to nine, so a nice and hardy sedum. So let me go ahead and set these aside and we'll keep digging in. I'm making kind of a mess in my house and I have to do a little house cleaning after this is done. That's okay, it's worth it. They do such a nice job packaging. They have like a foil um, bubble pop, or bubble, bubble pop. You know what I'm trying to say, those little popping things. Uh, this is like a foil lined one, so that's good for shipping in the colder temperatures. Next, Veronica Skyward Lilac. Let's take a look. So it says Veronica Skyward Lilac. This pollinator plant boasts a high flower count and continuous blooming. 
won't break open and looks amazing in pots and in the landscape. So what it means by won't break open is how often have you had your perennials, they'll grow and they'll kind of split in the center. They're claiming that this one here is not gonna do any splitting. So that will be fun to look at and observe as we get it planted out in the landscape. And continuous blooming, that sounds pretty exciting well. Uh, as well a veronica that starts blooming usually in michigan here around june or so and blooming throughout the summer so that will be something too that we'll really be looking at in the trials to see how long and for how many weeks do these actually bloom here in our garden uh, this is dallas firma i can tell from the foliage oh and there's even a few little flowers so this is the dallas firma oh heidi should have got out her glasses there. Della Sperma Ocean Sunset Violet Flare. There we go. So it says it's the largest flower of any Della Sperma. So that's going to be cool to watch and see. Um, four to six inches tall and up to 12 inches wide and hardy in zones five to nine. And Della Sperma are a full sun loving plant. So there's just a few little, few little flowers there. Probably not giving us a true indicator of what the plant looks like. But from what I'm seeing so far, that's a really pretty kind of a purpley pink color. Ooh, this is smelling like ag agastache or hyssop. Agastache sun, sun long magenta. Nice looking plugs there. Let's see what it says about these. Oh, summer long. <laughs> They have abbreviations on the tags. Agastache Summer Long Series. Earlier bloomer and lasts longer in full bloom. Ideal for easy mixed deco pot containers. Choose your favorite three to make a beautiful combination of your own. So this comes in the colors of coral, lemon, lilac, peach, and magenta. It's uh, 9 to 12 inches tall, so fairly compact. 12 to 14 inches wide, and it's hardy in zone seven to 10. So this one for us in Michigan, as I mentioned earlier, we're at zone six. This is gonna be more of a tender perennial um, if it overwinters at all. So this will be one that we will put out in the trial gardens because it's always fun to just test those limits with the zones to see how the plants do. So even though this is hardy in zone seven, it's saying here on the paper, I'm gonna go ahead and plant it and we're gonna see how it does here in Michigan. I'm glad Rod's not home. He'd freak out when he's putting all these plants all over the kitchen. More Agastache. And this one is, again, the same series, but this one here is the Coral. So Coral and Magenta are the two that we have so far. box is never ending and this is only box one of two now I know how you feel when you receive a shipment from garden crossings Ooh, what's this oh more of the Hagasachi lemon beautiful plants I think I might be able to create that combination myself because it looks like I got four different ones so far. Peach. All right, we're gonna grab the next box. All right, this looks like Coriopsis. Coriopsis, <laughs> I didn't say that right. Coriopsis Uptick Gold. Beautiful plugs. Let's see what our card says about the uptick gold. So for full sun, Coriopsis uptick gold, finally a solid yellow for our popular uptick series. That's true, we sell a lot of the uptick Coriopsis. They have a great habit and really beautiful flowers. They're continuous blooming and they have a nice habit. Great for containers or the landscape. 20 to 28 inches tall and 18 to 24 inches wide at maturity. And this is hardy in zones five to nine. That's a beautiful quality plant right there. Little, but this is gonna grow quickly in those quart and gallon size containers. So we do get a lot of our perennials from Gully Greenhouses. 
Um, obviously, we have a lot of different uh, sources that we use to get our perennial plugs in, uh, but Gully is one that we do frequently use. All right, here we have, here we go, the Arctic, Arctic Fox uh, Lemon Cream. Digitalis Arctic Fox Lemon Cream. Use as a thriller in a large combination pot or in the landscape. Ideal for hummingbirds and pollinators. 18 to 24 inches tall, 16 to 18 inches wide, and this is for full sun, party in zones five to nine. The next ones are a little bit, they came on, came out of their little plug. So this one's a little bit, I'm gonna do some digging in here a minute. So as you notice, I'm not concerned about this. So I know on occasion when we are shipping, sometimes a plant does get jostled in shipping. And the beauty of it is, is that even if a leaf or a branch or something is broke on your plant, it's not something you have to really be concerned about because with plants, they regrow. They grow a new branch, they'll grow a new leaf, and they'll be back to beautiful within just a few short weeks. So even though these are all kind of jostled out of their cells, this is not even a little bit concerning to me. Beautiful plants, great quality. Let's take a look at what variety we have here. Uh, this here, oh, this is the butterfly bush, Buddleia chrysalis steel. So let's take a look at what it says about that. So Buddleia, Buddleia chrysalis, that's a great little um, series name, steel blue, a continuous blooming and ideal for small spaces, deco pots and pollinator gardens. So 20 to 28 inches tall, so very compact in size and only 18 to 24 inches wide. So this is gonna be like the perfect size butterfly bush for just those small space gardens. I know that there's so many of us now, maybe not me, um, but I know there's so many of you now that have just small spaces that garden in. Maybe it's just a patio or you just have just a little spot in your yard. Gardening, I think, is for anybody who has any size garden. There are plants to totally accommodate any size situation. So if you have a big garden, a just expansive landscape, there's big plants for you. But for those of you with the smaller size gardens, there is small plants for you as well. So this one is hardy in zones five to nine. The other thing I should mention is, is when plants come and they're jostled about in shipping, give the, the company you're buying from a little grace um, because it's usually the company that's delivering to your door that is not doing these plants the justice. But as I mentioned just a minute ago, these plants, are re they're, they're pretty resilient. They might have a break, they may not look perfect, but once you get them planted, once you get them in the ground, they are just going to survive and thrive. So don't let a broken something be a big concern. All right, so this next, this next group here is also jostled about. Um, this is more Agastache. This is the lilac colored Agastache. And oh, this will be easy to figure out because This is Buddleia. This is a pink one. So we'll be able to tell this, this is this is good that the Buddleia and the Agasachi were in the same thing because we'll be able to tell the difference by the foliage. So even though they're kind of jostled all on top of each other, we'll be e we'll easily be able to separate them out by looking at the foliage. So here's another one that's part of that Chrysalis series, and this is pink. And I don't believe on my paper it it didn't talk about. Nope, it didn't talk about the pink. So I'll be popping pictures up of all of these varieties that we have received today on the screen so you can get a little sneak peek at what they look like when they're in full bloom. Um, we would like to thank our friends at Darwin Perennials for sending us this beautiful collection of 2025 perennials. We're excited to get them planted up in the greenhouse, watch them grow, see how they perform, and then get them out into our trial gardens where we can then show you what they do in an actual landscape 
uh, in an actual landscape setting. Um, so I did say on this sheet that we would get some variation of the things listed. We didn't get everything listed and that's perfectly fine. Um, we got a lot of great things and I'm excited to give these things a try. If you have any questions or comments on any of the plants that you saw today, um, obviously I'm not going to have a lot of information because they are like not even on the market yet. There's something we're trialing and will be available probably this fall or next year. Uh, so something to watch here in the future. Um, but yeah, if there's any things you have questions on, I'll try to do my best to get the questions answered. I can contact our Darwin Perennial Rep and if there's any questions I'm not sure of, I'm sure he'll be able to help answer them for me. Thanks for watching. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.